Now, I come out of a communications background. I used to be a newspaper reporter. I was a, a press secretary on a governor's race. I was a communications director in New Hampshire uh, for a presidential race. So I've done a lot of comms work. But one important thing that I've come to realize and to understand, and I teach about this in my course, Communication for Leaders at Duke University's Fuqua School of Business, is that too many leaders assume when it comes to crisis and crisis planning that that is all what comms does, that it's not their purview, it's communications purview. And while it's certainly true that communications is critical in a crisis, that the, the comms department is going to be taking a central role, that does not relieve any leader of responsibility. We are all in it together when it comes to a crisis response. And so here are a few things that you can do as a leader to make sure that your team, regardless of your functional area, is ready to respond in a crisis. Number one, an important thing to realize is that most crises can be predicted. If you work in an oil and gas company, guess what? There's probably going to be a spill at some point. If you work at a bank, there's probably going to be some kind of tech fraud. We know this. The surprise is not the what, it's the when. So we have to make plans proactively so that we are ready. Number two, very important to understand both how your company as a whole is going to respond to the crisis and how your team fits into it. You want to be talking to your boss, communicating tightly with them about it so that everybody's on the same page. And third, for your team, you want to be creating a crisis plan. And this is literally things like during a crisis, you can war game different scenarios. Who is doing what? Who needs to be communicated with? What is the order of operations? You want to create a checklist so that in the moment you don't have to do that thinking because your brain is going to be fogged when there is a crisis. You want to be ready now so that people can follow the checklist. They know what to do for the most common crises. I hope that's helpful. Take care and good luck out there. Stay safe.